I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and even though it looks like I'm here with my big fluffy poodle, what we're going to do today is we are going to fill out an entry form together. So one of the things that uh, we have had a lot of requests for is really how do I fill out that entry form? I have my dog's registration certificate and I have an entry form, but I'm not really sure what information goes where. And the biggest problem is classes. The classes can be very, very confusing, especially if your dog qualifies for more than one class. When should you enter more than one class? Um, is sweepstakes really a class that is eligible for points? So as we fill out the entry form, we're gonna go through all of these things. We're gonna do the entry form um, for AKC as well as the CKC, so the American Kennel Club and the Canadian Kennel Club, and just point out some of the subtle differences. Um, a lot of them, you know, the, a lot of the things are the same, but there are a few differences that you should be aware of. So if you are struggling with how to fill out an entry form and specifically what classes your dog is eligible for and kind of the strategy around entering each class, stay tuned and enjoy this Leading Edge Dog Show Academy tutorial. Hello everyone, this is Allison from Leading Edge Dog Show Academy and today we are going to fill out an entry form together. Um, so let's get straight to it. All right. So the first thing that you need to know is that for each dog show that you may or may not attend, there is going to be an official premium list, right? So this is what a premium list looks like. And what is a premium list? Well, a premium list is basically going to give you all the information that you need to enter the dog show. Um, so for this one, uh, we can see that if you have a Chihuahua, it's limited to so many entries because they're ha also having a specialty that day. There's going to be rally. But really important information on this front page is that the entries close at Wednesday noon, February 16th, or when limits are reached. So some shows have a limit of how many dogs can be entered at that dog show. So it's noon on February 16th, or when they reach whatever that limit might be. So in some places, the entry um, limit will fill very, very quickly. So it's something to be aware of, right? And so it, this tells you the name of the kennel club, uh, the dates and, you know, the numbers that are officially associated, then the dates of the dog show. There is a peewee competition. There's a supported entry. So that breed, there's probably going to be more Cavaliers because the, there's some club or person supporting the entry in Canada that might be called a booster. Uh, this event is also the AKC National Owner Handler Series. We'll have more on that um, in another video. Um, again, talks about the Chihuahua specialties then where it is, right? So this show happens to be in Arizona, the address, um, it's gonna be held indoors, unbenched. That means your dog doesn't have to sit on a bench, the official show hours. And then this is the superintendent. So the superintendent is where you send your entries to. All right. Then um, it tells you about other shows that are in the same venue around the same time um, and all kinds of official things, right? Oh, here's something important. The first entry of each dog is $33 and then additional entry of the same dog unless otherwise specified. So that's if you're entering in more than one class. We're going to talk about that. We also have a video on that. And then they have a special fee for puppy and bred by exhibitor classes, which is nice to encourage people to enter their puppies and enter in bred by. We'll talk more about what bred by is. Um, if you have a junior handler, so a junior, a young person in your life, it's $15 to enter that if they're only entering juniors. But if you're entering a dog in one of these regular classes, puppy, bred by, or a regular class, then juniors is free, which is also nice. They also have an unofficial beginner puppy class of $15, right? Then it basically goes through the same thing for the Chihuahua Club, um, rally, etc talks about the veterinarian, paramedics, the show photographers, where to stay, all kinds of good stuff, right? So you can read through this whole premium list, talks about the peewee competition for juniors, what juniors is. So there is a lot of information in these premium lists. So we're gonna scroll all the way down to page number that shows up here, number 35, I wanted to get to. All right, so here we are on page 35, okay? Very, very important that this is an official American Kennel Club entry form or, um, you know, CKC. This here is here's the same thing. This is an official Canadian Kennel Club entry form. The name of the show. One of the differences is basically in Canada, 
the dog show um, will be three days sponsored by the same kennel club and typically in the US. Well, this one actually is Superstition Kennel Club is both days, but often it'll be Superstition Kennel Club one day, Phoenix Kennel Club the other day. You know, that one just doesn't have to be um, it. So, you know, similar, but, you know, slight differences in some of, of what we're doing, right? So if you're going to enter, like the first thing that you would do is you would tick off, you know, here with an X or um, let me just see what I did here. Um, so you would, oh, so this is where I think I made a little bit of a mistake. So I'll show you how to fill it in on another form, but you would give a check mark here and a check mark here for um, what days you want it to be entered. Maybe you want to be entered both, maybe just one, right? Then again, it reminds you that the entries close Wednesday at noon or when the limit, where to mail it with the fees, um, that you need to put the breed and name of the show on the checks and how much you're doing. Um, read carefully the instructions on the reverse side before filling out and then you start filling it out. So the other thing that we need is some information, right? So here's our dog's uh, registration certificate. So the first thing we're gonna do is what breed? Our breed is a poodle, right? So I wonder if this will let me copy and paste. We will see. Uh, no. Okay, so it's a poodle. And of course, if you have a Chihuahua, you have a Poodle, um, you have a Spaniel, it is going to, could have a variety, right? I have a Toy Poodle. I also have a Standard Poodle, but this is a Toy Poodle. So I put that in here. Um, and then I refer back to my entry form again. And now sex, obviously, I know the sex is male. Um, you could put M. I like to fill it out with male instead of female in case my handwriting is bad. Okay. So now we're at the important part. What dog show class are we going to enter? All right, so this show um, is March 5th and 6th, right? And he was born June 30th. So um, June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. So, okay, no, I'm gonna do it again, just so that I get it right. I'm gonna make sure that I know the dates of the show. So we're filling out this American. So the dates of the show are March 5th and 6th. So I was right. And June 30th, so July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February. So March 30th, he'll be nine months. And that's when he would be eligible for the nine to 12 month class. Um, so right now he's eligible for six to nine months class. Okay. So now class division. So if you had a dachshund, um, that was either standard or miniature or, um, a Doberman or a boxer that might be divided by color. So they might be, um, black and tan and then any other loud color or cock, um, Cocker Spaniels aren't a good example. Shet Shetland Sheepdogs, they have Sable, and then they have AOIC, any other allowed color. You would then enter that here in the class division box, right? Um, so additional classes. So additional classes typically mean um, on this entry form, if you wanted to enter your dog in more than one class. So my six to nine puppy male would also be eligible for American bred because he was bred in America and the show is happening in America. He would also be eligible for open because any dog could be entered in open. But here's the thing. Typically we are not going to enter our dog in more than one class because should he win the six to, first of all, as soon as you show them in a class, you have to show them in every other class after that. So if he's entered in six to nine and um, American bred and then open and I show him in six to nine, I must show him in American bred and open. Otherwise, I am not allowed to compete in winners, even if I won my class. Um, also, if I go second in six to nine, it doesn't matter if I go first in one of the other classes, I'm still not eligible for winners. It just really makes zero sense to be entered in more than one class. Um, so something to be very, very careful about. I mean, one of the only times I might do it is if I coned a dog with a breeder and I, I might enter it in bred by and another class, but typically if the breeder can't show it, you're allowed to move it out of that class anyway. So if there was sweepstakes, typically there's another box up here or another box on our premium list. So let's see if our Canadian premium list has a place for sweepstakes. Um, so it does not. 
So also you can see on the Canadian entry form, it kind of gives you the classes and you can check off what one you want to do it. So some entry forms will be like that, but you know, more typically they're gonna be like this. So additional classes, we typically are not going to enter an additional class. So just so you know, uh, we're not entering obedience rally. We're not entering junior handling. If we were, this is where we put the junior handler, um, name and the junior handler number. So now we need to fill in the full name of the dog. And that means the name as it is shown here, name on the registration certificate. Um, so that is parfait shooting profanity. And I'm just gonna correct my typing here. And then he has an AKC number. So I might check up, check up, Ooh, check that box there. And right here, I'm going to enter his AKC number and his AKC number um, can be found right here. PR uh, 244-33502. So let me write that down. PR 244-3322. All right, so I'm gonna enter it here. Um, PR 244-33502. Now, if I had a Canadian dog, I would check off here and I'd write the number in and then the country, right? Date of birth. Um, oh, this has a little drop down menu. How handy is that? So we're going to go for June 20th and it wasn't 2022. It was 2021 or he wouldn't be born yet. Um, why is this going so fast? There we go. Okay. This thing is not being cooperative. So let's put the year 21 in here and then put in June 30th. Okay, there we go. Place of birth, right? So he was born in the USA, but again, your dog can be born anywhere. You put the place of birth in there. So then we go to breeder and again, we look at our breeder. So Chuck, um, look at all these people that bred my dog. So I'm gonna put C Metzner and sorry, I can't remember Dan Kaufman, D Kaufman and K Herman. Doop. Make sure I fix that up. Make sure that that looks right. One F and one R. Okay. Parfait pumped up kicks. So I'm just going to fix this. And so this is champion parfait pumped up kicks and then we are going to go to the dam is chewed and start <sighs> so you get the idea right you're just taking the information off of one entry form and or off off of your form and just adding it in here okay so the actual owner is me and Kirk, so I put both of us here. And then um, my address, right? So my address would go here, my city, I live in Sydney and uh, BC, blah, blah, blah. Okay, agent. So this is if you hired a handler, you would put um, the handler's name in here. So I'm just gonna say that I did hire um, a handler just so you can see what it's like. I'm gonna sign it here. Um, Yep, my John Smith. Oh, I'm gonna put uh, a Alexander. There we go. And then my phone number, my email address, am I a new exhibitor? So I'm no, but you could put yes that you were because they have new exhibitor um, orientations at some shows. So that way they would send you email about that. Am I owner handler eligible? So that's for the owner handler series. I'm gonna say no. Um, emergency contact, uh, telephone, pretty straightforward. All right. So one thing that I want to say, so if we look at this American Kennel Club entry form, you see how it has this part, like this agreement on the back. All right. This is very, very important. If you are using an entry form and you are filling it out, like we showed you here today and you are mailing it in. So you're going to mail it in with either your credit card or a check at, you know, um, you must also print off this back portion of the entry forms or your entries will not be taken. I've had some heartbroken people 
who showed in Canada and you don't have to have this back agreement part on your Canadian entry form, mailed it in to the show secretary and their entries were not accepted. Um, so very, very important. So you'd print this whole thing off, make sure that you have everything filled out. We're just gonna show you one more time, right? You would make sure we went through all of this thing, full name of dog, right? For this show, um, agent, signature, new exhibitor, right? Uh, receive a printed judging program. You just want it, you're gonna print it off yourself. Right? pretty straightforward, right? And on this entry form, you can see like page 35 is the entry form, page 36 is the agreement. AKC always has that. Now we quickly go to the Canadian Kennel Club entry form. It'd be the same thing, right? You're gonna look up in this premium list how much the entry fees were, decide what days you're gonna go. And then this one's a little easier. You can just check off what class you wanna be in or exhibition only. Now exhibition only, if you want to go to the dog show, but you're not gonna enter, um, technically your dog should not be on the grounds, but if you're entered in exhibition only, it can be. Also, if you're entered in exhibition only, your child could use your dog in junior handling, but it doesn't go into the breed classes, okay? Um, so breed, variety, sex, male or female, um, the registered name of the dog, and most kennel clubs only want the titles in that country, right? So they only want Canadian champions in Canada and American champions in Can in the U.S. Um, and then what, what number do you have? Do you have a registration number, an ERN number, um, different kind of numbers that you can have, date of birth, Canada, elsewhere, pretty much the, the difference is... Um, in, on our Canadian Kennel Club entry form, we want not only the name of the agent, but the agent's address um, as well. Um, and then here's an area to fill in you, how you're gonna pay for it. The other difference is, as you can see, there is no second side to this entry form. So with the Canadian Kennel Club entry form, you do not need to mail in that second side. Um, so there you go. I hope that that helped you figure out how to figure out uh, or sorry, how to fill out a Canadian Kennel Club or an American Kennel Club entry form. Um, the other thing that I am going to mention to you is that you could use an entry service, right? So in Canada and the US, they have different entry services. Um, you can look them up online and you can just say dog show entry service in the United States. Um, as, as well, we have some great websites that have all these premium lists, et cetera, on them. So in Canada, I encourage you to look at canuckdogs.com because you can flow around in Canuck Dogs, you can find um, by province what different events there are, not just confirmation shows, but obedience, rally, all those things. And in the U.S., go to infodog.com and another fantastic site. So you can find premium lists, all the shows divided by, again, states, etc. So you can find all the information and you can decide then whether you want to print off that entry form um, and send it in yourself or whether you are going to use one of the entry services. One thing about entry services that I will say they charge a fee. So on top of dog show entries, which can be expensive, they will charge a percentage on top of that to get your dog in. One thing I like about them is they kind of don't let you make a mistake, right? So if you go to enter your six to nine puppy, like you saw how I counted on my fingers twice or heard how I counted on my fingers twice, what class to put my puppy in, um, they take care of that. If you enter either their system won't let you enter the wrong class or um, they'll say, hey, you did you can't enter that class. You made a mistake. Is it a mistake on the birth date or on the class you tried to enter? So I hope that that helped you figure out how to figure to enter your dog, fill out an entry form for an American Kennel Club or Canadian Kennel Club dog show. Thank you so much. And we will see you soon. Hi. I'm Allison for Leading Edge Dog Show Academy, and I really hope that you enjoyed today's tutorial as much as we enjoy bringing this kind of information to you. Of course, if you don't wanna miss any of our tutorials, please like and subscribe so you get the very next one. If there's something that you haven't yet seen on Leading Edge Dog Show Academy here on YouTube, I invite you to just pop it in the comments below. And if we can get that information to you, we are more than happy to do so. As well, if you have a chance, check out our premium content at leadingedgedogshowacademy.com. We have great tutorials on grooming, whether for show, competition, or at home. We have fantastic webinars on training your show dog, on breeding dogs, you name it, we have it. So once again, I am so happy that you joined us for today's tutorial, and we hope to see you here on the Leading Edge Dog Show Academy channel here on YouTube very, very soon. 
Thanks so much. Bye-bye.